I see Jesus attending to you. I see Jesus attending to you. I see Jesus attending to you. You are holding the blood of Jesus. You are holding the blood of Jesus. When I got a call from home, that my mom is sick. She is having um, difficult in breathing. And I called my last born brother that you'll be going home. I want to give you the blood of Jesus. I took it to our mommy in the village. She just left my house last week, Saturday. She's just normal. There's nothing like difficult in breathing any longer. Let's give Jesus a clap. You are no longer condemned. Amen. You are justified. Amen. You are justified. Amen. I say you are justified. Amen. You are released. Amen. You are healed. Amen. You are saved. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Moving objects that was moving on my legs down to my foot, everything just stopped, everything just disappeared. Indeed, this place is arena of testimony. In any material, anointing material you receive from this ministry, don't take it for granted because it works for me. My name is Elsie Johnson. I'm from Aquaibom State. Occasionally, I used to have slight pains until God brought the evangelist in our midst in the person of God's time, Ida. And one of the occasions when we were meeting here in an, um, when is this meeting, workers' meeting, after the Bible class, um, there was a mass prayer that offered for each and every one of us and which I prayed and I vomited. Since then, the pains disappeared completely. I have this peace in my body. I have this peace in my stomach. I'm no more having such pains in the Let's longer. give Jesus a clap. Let's give Jesus a clap. Let's give Jesus a clap. Early this year, when I got a call from home, that my mom is sick. She is having um, difficult in breathing and we treated her medically we took her to many clinics hospital running some tests and all of that and um, we know somehow it will come down it will still be the same and in some cases they told us that, that we should not go on medical way like drugs we treat her in a native way nothing really happening so we were managing the situation like that and praying as well it happened last month um, august when we were having fasting and prayer that was the first day i did mine and the second day which we closed at the prayer mountain we were all met there and they just comes up with the anointed water being blessed by the man of god evangelist god's time ada and i received mine as well on the mountain and immediately i received the water I prayed over it and I said in my mind, this is not just water, this is the blood of Jesus. So I have this faith and I took my water home. When I got home, I knelt down, I prayed. And I called my last born brother that you'll be going home. I want to give you the blood of Jesus. I took it to our mommy in the village, of, um, which he did. I gave him the water and I instructed him on what to do with the water when you got there. Put in the water, in a drinking water, in a bathing water, in everything he does. Let her be using this water. I called him later in the day. He told me what actually happened that when she finished bathing with the water and he drank the water, there is something that happened so strange that they, they actually wanted to call me. But some, to what reasons, I don't know. They refused to call me and told me, well, maybe I would have been scared or somehow. So they, he said to me that we, after she finished taking her bath and drink the water, she behaved somehow like she wanted to fall. He held her and made her sit down. So after some time, she slept off. When she woke up, she was so sound, like she was just breathing very normal. She talks well. Like since then, as in... So since then, I've been calling her, talking to her, 
she's just normal she's no longer taking the medication she just stopped taking anything i told her anything you'll be doing your food your drinking water your bed just be using the water and that's what she's using just believe and have the faith and pray it over it before you use it and she has been doing that till today she just left my house last week start today she's just normal there's nothing like difficulty in breathing any longer let's give jesus a clap let's give jesus a clap Apart from my mom, brother also in Calabada has an ulcer. He was here in Uyo because of the ulcer, because he has been complaining to me severely about the ulcer issues, and he has been taking many drugs. I even advised him to come down to Uyo so that we can meet our doctor. As in, he came down here, actually. We met the doctor, and the doctor prescribed many drugs to him, which he took it back to Calaba. So when this anointed water came up, I also sent the, the water to him. He should minister the water as well and prayed over it. He did, and he even called me that he's no longer taking the medication, that the water I sent is... Hallelujah! Water. I have advice to everybody sitting here in the church or to the tutorial and the viewers watching us all over the world that trust in the Lord the Bible says that those who trust and hope in me will not see shame trust God and believe in God have this faith in any material anointing material you receive from this ministry don't take it for granted because it works for me like i'm standing here this morning i would have not been in the church today if not the grace of god through the prayer line i joined them evangelist first time at this moment because since on thursday this week i woke up in the morning i was not feeling fine I was feeling i was so down on friday i wasn't really in the office i was some i was in the house waiting for time for me to be in the mountain but i could not there this morning when I woke up, I asked myself, what should I even do? I don't know what, because I've been taking drugs. It's not like, it's not working out. I woke up and I joined um, Evangelist this morning on the online prayer. After the prayer, there's this strain that came over me. My body just become normal. I'm just okay. I have to dress up and start coming to the church. So I want to advise everybody seated here and watching. Anywhere you are, just trust God. And follow up God's servants. Maybe, maybe through your full media, social media, prayer, and any anointing material given to you. Don't take it for granted. Just value it. Take it with good faith. Just pray over it and have faith that it will work. The more you have faith it will work, it will work for you. Just as you, it worked for me, it will work for you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Madam, it's unfortunate that your brother or your mother is not here. But whenever you get to them, tell them to make the word of God a standard for their life. That is what they will do to maintain their healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Morning, church. My name is Elsie Johnson. I'm a health from Macquarie Bomb State. Three Mondays ago, I woke up as usual in the morning. I dressed up to work. And when I woke up that morning, there was nothing happened to me. I was just normal. I went to my work. So I got to my office that morning. Usually, every Monday, you normally have a um, safety meeting. So I was rushed to drop some things in my office before getting to the hall for a safety meeting. So when I dropped my bag and I entered the hall to attend to the meeting, I started feeling um, something, some sensations on my left leg. I ignored it, but at some point I was still having 
the pains, like some object was moving on my left leg up and down. So I wasn't really comfortable with it. I could not match my leg any longer. The pains were so severe that um, I was able to move around. Sunday, two weeks ago, I came to church. During laying of hands, evangelist God's time either was touching people. When he came to my turn, I now explained to him that this is what happened to my leg, I could not match my leg. Even that Sunday when I came to church, being an usher in the church, I have to stand for a very long time. But that day, I have to stand and be sitting down because the pains were so severe. But after the prayers, man of God prayed for me and he touched me. He touched my leg and prayed for me and he laid hands on my head, just a touch. I didn't know what happened to me again. I was just moving up and down. At the point, I cut off from the ground and I was thanking God. So when I went back home that day, I slept off. So when I woke up in the morning, I realized that the pains just disappeared. The moving objects that was moving on my legs down to my foot, everything just stopped. Everything just disappeared. I did not feel any pains again. I was like, wow, this is wonderful. This is really working. This is as in, indeed, this place is arena of testimony. This is my second time standing here. This is the arena of testimony. This is the arena of testimony. To me, the way people were saying it, maybe it was poison. I didn't just, I didn't just want to put my mind there so it would not stop me. But I really know that God is working. Like, God is here. God, God, the power of God here is so wonderful. It's so amazing. It works for me, and I got my evidence. Last week, Sunday, we were here when Man of God came out. He made some declaration that that week is going to be a special week for us. And he raised a song that all of us came out here and sing, dancing. In fact, I'm standing here to glorify the name of the Lord that this week indeed is a testimony week for me. Just like Man of God said last Sunday, that we are coming back here to testify. And I'm standing here to tell God thank you because this week, that favor Man of God declared it was for me. My advice to people watching me right now, people sitting here in the church auditorium, I want to tell you people to stay tuned. Your coming here is not by any mistake. You are not making any mistake to be here. This is the arena of testimony. I'm, I am standing here to testify and I know you are the next online. Make the word of God the standard for your life. By so doing, your testimony shall remain permanent in that name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.